Hi, welcome to my kitchen. So, um, flowers. We're in this weird time, right? We're all uh, at home and there can be some good about that. And um, I have not been feeling super duper, rather uncreative kind of, and really just tired. So I, my husband got some flowers. Now there are so many ways that you can get flowers when you are getting your groceries delivered. That is one of the ways you can add flowers onto your order. And also there are um, online, you know, your 1-800-Flowers, your FTD, and also so many of your local florists are um, delivering because they don't have to encounter anyone. And it's usually like a one person gig going on there or it's a family floral business. And um, I know they would love your business. So I'm not always saying go and spend, but if it is within your budget, why don't you enjoy some flowers? And I just wanted to give you a little um, tutorial. So the sun is shining and I know it's tough lighting, but you know what? It's just one of those days where we really need the sunshine. This is just a little finished arrangement and it came in one of those big bundles, right? It just came with one of these big bundles. I opened it up and I just want to give a couple of quick tips. Um, these are ways that you can keep your flowers really fresh. And um, one thing is shorten those stems. So the stems come really long, right? They come really long. Shorten them. Shorten up your stems. Don't be afraid to cut them and get them to that would match your vase height. So this one is a little bit taller and then I have this one like this. And this is so cute with just a bud popping out of it. My other tip is get off the foliage. So some plants, the greens are really important and really um, make the flower or make the plant, right? Hence plant. But for something like your daisies, these are not um, very attractive to begin with and all they are are nutrient suckers. So what I do is I just simply take off that foliage and it will help your flower stay fresh longer. And like I mentioned, right, we're going to, I'm really gonna trim it. I'm gonna use a simple bud vase for this. I have a whole array of vases. I collect like different little things from garage sales and just get, you know, for a quarter. This was um, from one of the, at our church, a craft. And also good old mason jars, mustard jars. Save every now and then one of those jars and you will find um, that they become really handy to just put like a sprig of a flower in there, uh, something you find in your yard, just they, those little jars and they add so much character to a home and they're just really cheery. So another little bit, I have to show you these little guys here. These were another garage sale find and they actually have a tint of blue. These flowers are green and orange. The bouquet we got today has more subtle colors, you know, your blue or your uh, purples and whites and whatnot. But the last batch my husband brought home was like these brilliant oranges, brilliant purples and blues. And I was like, babe, what is this? And I'm not gonna lie, during this time, they are so cheery. I look at them in the window and I'm like at this beautiful burst of orange. And so just consider kind of going out of your norm for what you would normally purchase with your flowers. Get really creative with your vases is so fun. This was a gift. This was, um, I believe it was something along the line of Bailey's, but it was like homemade and it comes with this really cool top and I saved it and no, there's no more Bailey's in there, but it sure is a great uh, vase, a flower vase. So just get creative with your heights of your flowers. Don't be afraid to trim that long, long stem. These aren't like long stem roses where you're displaying in the vestibule, right? We're, we're talking possibly flowers from Kroger. We want them to last a while. So we're gonna cut down that stem, remove the foliage, and then get creative with your different bases. So here's one here, and I mixed the flowers, right? I have two of the same, and I have my little um, my little daisies here, and then I also have this beautiful Queen's Anne lace that is just coming out to the side. Think about your shapes a little bit. This is an opportunity to recharge your creative juices. So um, don't just think like up and out, right? Think maybe some little bit of angles, play with the colors in there. This face, I have a little bit of purple in my um, dining room. This will look perfect. It's just gonna pull the purples right out of the rug and it'll just be this like cheery little presence. It was a pleasure to talk creative, to, creatively to you and I hope that um, this was a little bit fun to watch and maybe will spark um, an opportunity to bring some cheer to your home. And um, y'all have a really good day. Okay, bye.